Hi, hello, welcome to another episode of Isaiah's Newsstand. It's your host, Isaiah Edwards. The date is July 16th, 2023. Hopefully this episode finds you well in good spirits and high hopes. As for me, I'm doing pretty good, feeling well. Uh, let's see, I do have a food corner to report. I got my um, mall Chinese food, if you will. Um, it was very yummy. It was chicken and rice, uh, with veggies on the side, uh, with like, and I always get extra sauce, extra chicken at this point. And also like as much like chill. I didn't want, I didn't go like crazy, crazy, but I put a good amount of, uh, chilies on there. It was yummy. It was good. So that filled the spot. And then in the morning I got a little extra and I went to McDonald's. Donald and got a steak, egg, and cheese bagel, a bacon and cheese biscuit, and a hash brown and a Coke. So, you know, we ate pretty good. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, we'll say bad news. Uh, I was having one of those drives where I was like, uh-oh, I'm hearing a new sound. And uh, yeah, I think something's going on with my car and that... That's always wonderful. It's always wonderful, and, and especially in these times, in my my economic status, uh, you know, just gonna be driving until they figure out what's going on there. But yeah, I, you know, of course, I did the the classic uh, poor, dumb, not mechanic guy thing, where you try to like Google troubleshoot your problem, and like, well, uh, why? Yeah, why does my car sound like a yeah lawnmower? Yeah, why does it sound like a lawnmower? <laughs> like you know, stuff like that. Um, so, you know, it, it's, it really feels like you're WebMDing your car and, you know, it can be as, as something as simple like, oh yeah, just change your air filter or it's like, oh, it's your whole, you know, exhaust system and needs to now be replaced. Like, so yeah, have fun with that. Like, awesome. awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, such is life is living. I'm glad my car is running and still hopefully going to keep getting me to A to A to B, hopefully to Z, you know, so, uh, send vibes for that. Okay, okay, okay. Um, enough whining and wanting. Uh, let's see here. I actually, I don't think wanting is the correct word there, but who cares? Uh, let's get into some news. Um, from USA Today. Four killed in shooting in Atlanta suburb. Suspect at large, officials say. Uh, four people were killed in a series of shootings in an Atlanta suburb. And a suspected gunman is still at large hours after the attacks. Officials said uh, Saturday afternoon. Uh, Let's see. It took place around 1045 in Hampton, a small city of about 8,000 residents. That's about 30 miles outside of Georgia. See, I think they do have the name of the suspect. Andre Longmore of Hampton. Uh, so as they reported it as a 4 15 p.m uh let's see they said that he was uh, believed to be driving a 2017 black gmc acadia so and i think there's a ten thousand dollar reward uh for any like tips leading to his arrest uh let's see here so that's that's a thing that's happening to you know in america uh some more america news uh from abc news 7.2 7.2 magnitude earthquake strikes near Alaska Peninsula, prompting brief tsunami warning. So apparently also like kind of looking through this article, kind of found out, you know, a little bit of a history, I guess, with earthquakes in Alaska. But uh, this one was uh, 7.2. Uh, it was uh, a quake about 55 miles southwest of Sandpoint, Alaska. Uh, it initially had been measured at 7.4. Uh, there was a brief, like, kind of warning for a tsunami, but it then got downgraded to an advisory uh, before being canceled altogether. So, you know, at least there's that. But it definitely did some damage. Uh, I didn't see any reports of, like, loss of life. So hopefully that's the case. Hopefully that's good. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's kind of. Let's see, the earthquake was along the Alaska Aleutian Aleutian subduction zone where large tremors are common. 
So there you go. Uh, that's so uh, we live in a crazy planet. I mean, every planet is crazy. It, it's I find it very interesting that of all the planets in the world, like we we you know have one that's so hospitable to us, but at the same time would also like just gobble us up and crush us at the same time. <laughs> Uh, it's pretty crazy. All right, all right, all right. Um, let's see here. This one uh, definitely was a really sad story. Uh, I, I, I just was scrolling on my Facebook, and I saw this pop up, and it was meme-related, and I was like, oh, I got, like, bummed. Uh, but this is from The Guardian. Man whose mother-in-law's blue and black dress went viral, charged with killing, or charged with trying to kill wife. Uh, let's see here. Um, a man who found fame after a dress worn by his mother-in-law at his wedding went viral due to its unusual color properties as reported, as reportedly, has reportedly appeared in court charged with the attempted murder of his wife. Uh, Care Johnson, 38 years old, of the Isle of Colonsay in Scotland, is alleged to have conducted an almost 11-year campaign of serious domestic violence and coercive control, which resulted in him to need to kill his wife. Um, so, sorry to put a trigger warning here for, like, domestic abuse, stuff like that uh, at the beginning, but um, I, I really don't want to get into too many of the details here, but um, Johnson faces allegations that he reportedly assaulted his wife at their home in their inner Hebrides, Hebrides, culminating in him attempting to strangle her. The charges between April of 2019 and March of 2022 include pushing his wife against a wall, shouting at her and throttling her, and threatening to kill her and brandishing a knife towards her. So... I was very serious, serious allegations. Really don't want to get into the guts of it beyond that. But yeah, I mean, obviously, I just remember seeing this dress. I uh, when I, you know, I it, it was initially like, oh well, yeah, it's blue and black or black and blue. And then you know, you would see it through another picture. It's like, no, this is clearly like gold and white. And you're like, someone's like putting you on here. But then it turns out it's like it all depends on like your eye and more importantly like your phone or the screen you're looking at it through and the you know and all that and I was like oh okay that's that's fine that's interesting so it was kind of like a cute funny meme that everyone was kind of you know coalescing around and you know talking about fun uh, but it sucks obviously behind the scenes you know the you know kind of the spark of it you know part of it you know they had all this going on so. Uh, I'm trying to think, uh, you know, if there's any more details that come out, you know, trial stuff, you know, might do some more light coverage there. Uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and move. We, we, we move, we move. Uh, we have one more thing to cover. Um, I'm going to take my classic last break. Uh, da, 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 da. Ba, da, da. Ooh wee. Mm. I once again cannot stress enough. Wherever you are, make sure you're staying hydrated. Make sure you're staying cool. Uh, you know that is another ongoing news story I keep seeing everywhere. Is that like we are breaking records in terms of this heat? Um, it, it is very intense. It, you know you got to be careful. Also, it's something that. Um, has kind of dawned on me in the years how how crazy different every part of the world, like even just in individual countries, like how the infrastructure is just sometimes just not prepared for you know the this temperature, and it makes sense. I mean, how can you be prepared for temperatures like above a hundred degrees? It's just wild. Um, all right, all right. Uh, let's talk about some other issues in the water. <laughs> Excuse me. From the BBC News, a surfboard stealing otter is on the run. So this is kind of a cute story uh, about a sea otter that is known by the name of 841. 
if you were to take a swim in the clear blue water surrounding Santa Cruz, California, in recent days, you may have encountered an unlikely predator. Small and dark, whiskered and fluffy, she has developed a knack for theft and the and a taste for surfboards. So apparently, uh, there's this otter in Santa Cruz. It's super cute, at least you know at first. But you know, it'll hop on your board. It'll kind of like hang out and be cute. And it's like, oh hey, hey little guy, what's going on? And then next thing you know, this otter. I believe it's a girl, yeah. Um, she will start, like, gnawing on your board. It's like, oh, that's not cool. Especially, you know, you factor in these boards, like, I think, go for around at least, like, $500. If not, I'm sure for sure more. I know Jonah Hill knows, but not me. Uh, that being said, it, like, it's like, oh, dude, no, no, please don't do this. And it's like, you know, then it's biting you, potentially harassing you. And I guess, not to mention, it's doing all this crazy, cute hygiene shit. It can, I think, like, surf away. I don't know. I don't know if they've seen it, like, catch a wave or anything like that. That sounds like some fucking Happy Days ass shit. But that being said, this is super cute, but at the same time, kind of dangerous. Um, and it's kind of led to a, you know, kind of a situation because, um, you know, wildlife agencies are now trying to catch the uh, otter and, you know, they're not trying to do anything bad to it. Luckily, they want to, you know, put it in a situation where they can continue to study it, make sure it's taken care of, well fed, kind of like a conservation situation, I'm sure. Uh, but that being said, uh, Otter 841, she's pretty clever. So she hasn't gotten, she hasn't taken any of the bait. Like they put out bait surfboards and she hasn't taken them so far. She's still just doing her thing. She's staying in her lane. She's getting the real suckers. Uh, but yeah, like she apparently has a penchant for like bright colored ones. So, you know, there's a report that she was eating. She ate her fill, then swam out and just started like, you know, kind of harassing people, like biting boards. And then eventually she saw this really bright board and just got on it. She loved it. She wanted it. And she's just going to town, biting it, you know, trying to take off with it. And I, I just couldn't imagine. I couldn't imagine. But apparently she comes from a family uh, that uh, of this, like her mom, she's just like her mother. Um, a complete, uh, the complete tale of Otter 841 uh, begins a little over five years ago with uh, an otter, another, a different otter, Otter 723. Otters who are released into the environment get numbers for names. Those who stay in captivity get names. So I didn't know that. That was a little fun fact for me. But, um... 723 was living in the wild in the central coast of California and was being fed by humans. So it got very used to it. But um, then she, uh, you know, laterly, you know, later, laterly, would go into captivity and she had babies. And 841 was one of those babies. And, you know, it was released out into the wild. And some people are kind of wondering, like, oh, did, like, she literally get this, like, almost, like, genetically passed down because her mom was like this. Now, you know, some experts have said, no, it's probably not the case. It most likely was that it just, like her mom, she was fed by people when she shouldn't have been and then just continued to kind of keep coming back and interacting with people and the interactions eventually started getting, you know, not good. So, you know, kind of a bummer, you know, in a way. Like, it, it, it seems super cute. I can understand when people want to whip out their cameras, but then, like I said, next thing you know, A41, you know, A41's biting on your board. No way. I don't like this. This isn't Kauai. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, either way, we're rooting for you. We got the killer whales, uh, you know, out there, the orcas that are doing damage. And we got the, you know, we got the sea otters in Santa Cruz. She's doing her own thing. And I stand both of them at the end of the day. You know, you're not catching me in those waters. I, she, I respectfully do my shit on land okay <laughs> that's a pro tip from isaiah's newsstand all right all right that's all i got for today i thank you so much for tuning in i thank you so much for being a friend and hopefully i see you soon for some more good news i love you Bye bye